In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to easily create a commercial visual effects product for Final Cut Pro 10 from a motion template. Open the FX Factory application from your Applications folder. From the File menu, choose New, Templates. Name your product and add an author name and click Continue. Next, FX Factory will ask you to create a name and select the type of your template. I'll just click Import Existing Template as I've created some already. I've developed a color correction suite of plugins in Motion and have saved them as Motion Effect templates. I'll choose the first one. FX Factory can apply a watermark to the output of any templates being used without a license. The watermark allows you to distribute a trial version of your product, which may be unlocked by the user as needed to remove the watermark. FX Factory has automatically generated a default watermark for me, which appears in the Assets pane. I have the option of using a custom watermark image if I drag one into the Assets pane, but I'll just stick with the default image. Save your FX template. The default save location is to your home folder, library, application support, noise industries. Be sure to save it here so the FX Factory application will load this FX template when it launches. Next, I'll add in my additional motion templates for the suite via drag and drop. Now I'd like to apply the watermark image to the effects. I'll select one of my templates and click the Motion Project Edit button to launch it in motion. Click the Generators button. You should notice a new category named after the author you specified in the FX template. You will also notice a new video generator under that category named after the FX template's product. Naturally, the watermark should appear over the content generated by the Motion Project. Add this generator to the topmost layer of the project. You'll see that it's the default watermark generated by FX Factory. Now save the Motion template. Back in FX Factory, I'll click Apply Changes. Repeat this watermarking process for any additional effects that you're including in your product. At this point, I'll import some additional image assets so I can change the custom thumbnail of each of my effects. I'll drag in a PDF help document file into the assets. Under Help, I'll choose Open Asset and then choose this PDF. If a tutorial video exists, I can link to a YouTube video. The user can access the help PDF and the tutorial video from right within Final Cut Pro 10. If multiple templates within your product reference the same media, for example, a large movie, there's no need to distribute multiple copies of those files to your users. FX Factory lets you embed a single copy of an asset, which may be referenced by multiple templates. Finally, I'll save this FX template. If we go to the Products window in FX Factory, you'll see your product at the bottom of the list, now with a beta icon, noting that your product is currently in development. If you'd like to commercialize your product, contact sales at noiseindustries.com. After submitting the product to Noise Industries, here's how the finalized commercial version of the product will look in Final Cut Pro 10. Note the online help and tutorial buttons. FX Factory guarantees reliable deployment of your products, Templates are installed and deployed consistently on all systems. This ensures that users do not have to deal with effect missing offline errors. Users can enable or disable products simply by toggling a checkbox inside the FX Factory application. The FX Factory runtime takes care of installing or uninstalling all files as needed when Final Cut Pro 10 is launched. To learn more about distributing your product for free or commercially, contact sales at noiseindustries.com.